Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA here. Okay, so what I wanna showcase is the cross join function here. Now I'm gonna show you just an example of how I used it and then I'm gonna just talk through it and explain you know, when and where um, and other places that you could use it as well because there's lots of applications. Now this is a, um, a advanced budgeting workshop that I ran through for the Enterprise DNA webinar series. I was part of the Enterprise DNA webinar series. I'll leave a description below to the full our workshop highly recommend checking it out if you're doing some sort of budgeting forecasting benchmarking type analysis there's huge amount to learn from that one workshop um, and I utilize lots of different techniques um, and I do utilize the cross join technique and this one for, for one specific purpose now what I needed to do is I wanted to automatically create budgets but I didn't want to just create new generic monthly budgets or I say a yearly budget or I wanted to create budgets by product and by month okay now if you look at this model and i've created it down here but i'm going to recreate it for for you um products the products is in one table and our months are in another table right and so we can't just out of thin air somehow have a table with products and budgets i mean it doesn't exist right we need to create it so we are going to create it through, from thin air, but it doesn't exist physically. So it doesn't sit within, I say, an Excel spreadsheet, it doesn't fit within a database. It may do, but in this case it didn't. And so what I needed to do is I needed to basically mash together columns from these individual tables to create one new table, which had these two, um, so, so that I could create some logic um, based on these two particular um, elements within um, my model. And so that's where cross-join comes in. Cross-join allows you to mash together two columns or a range of columns from different tables and make them as one. Okay? And so really, really effective. And in this case, these product budgets, well, it was basically the only way I could do it. Um, there's probably other ways, but I thought it was most effective. It certainly is the most effective way that I could um, create, recreate a table out of nothing. So what I ultimately did, if we just have a look at this table here, is I, I actually used other table functions as well, which, I'll, which I'll, I'll briefly run through. But essentially, I want to focus on this cross-join. This cross-join enabled me to create by month, this month name came from the date table, product ID came from the product table, right? two so totally different tables but I bang them together to create another table okay so how do we actually do it so what we can do is we can go new table so let's let's create a brand new table here I'm going to go new table and this icon up here we, we can create we can create tables um, by you uh, by formula by DAX formula right it's really really effective if uh, you know it's, it's a site gets your models get slightly more advanced slightly more complex but you know, if you want to be doing great stuff in Power BI, this is these are the types of this these are the types of functionality that are available to, you, and certainly you will use as you build uh, better and better models. Now, I actually go through a lot of these, this, uh, all of these advanced um, modeling and query editor type um, uh, features that you have available, and how to you know, showcase how to practically practically apply them actually in a um, uh, in a course with an, with an enterprise DNA online. So advanced data transformations and modeling. If you want to get into um, you know, more advanced stuff, more advanced work and how to combine them all to create you know, really high quality advanced solutions, then certainly you want to check out this course. Okay, so I'm going to create a demo table here and I'm going to go cross join. Now, so let's have a look. So always the IntelliSense is pretty good. Um, and it tells you um, also, you know, what we actually need, right? So cross joins is saying return a table that is a cross join of the specif specified table. So basically, bang two tables together, okay? And so I'm going to, in this case, I'm going to go. I'm going to start with values, right? Values, values allows us to easily extract or create a table um, of a particular column, right? And so I'm going to go month name here. I'm going to go month name, and then I'm going to go values. I'm going to go and find my product ID, okay? So we, in this case, so cross join asks for two tables, right? Well, this is my first table. And remember, it doesn't have to be a singular column. It can be multiple columns. Um, you know, a table, um, a table can be created uh, virtually via formula um, with a range of different table functions. So these are, that's a, you know, a, a big derivative of all of these DAX formula that you have available to you. In this case, values just will bring through one column of information. And so um, when I do this, so check this out, I bang it together. So that gives me every single product now and every single month. And that, but um, so every single product, so depending on um, how we filter this, I could filter 
uh, say by product ID and you'll see here from January to December it gives me every single product um, and then we go to the next product January to December. So that's how you can utilize cross-join to create these tables right to create these tables these new brand new tables that didn't exist and you've got to remember these are from two totally different tables this is from the dates this is from the product budgets and so this is how you can effectively um, incorporate these in your um, in your models now if I just jump back to the example I, I have here so obviously this is a little bit more complex there's a little bit more to this in, instead of using values I've utilized different functions so you, there's there's other values you don't have to use values you can use distinct does a relatively sim, a similar thing um, there's a couple of different um, there's a couple of nuances to it but in theory it does the same thing and summarize columns again it does the same things but summarize columns has a lot more flexibility you can add a lot more columns than what you can with distinct and values etc but anyway cross join um, will utilize the two tables that you place within it and um, bring them together and so that's that's the way that you can effectively utilize it and then what I've done on the back of this one and why you know and why it's really effective in this particular scenario is that I wanted to create my budgets right I wanted to create budgets for a particular year by taking last year's result adding a factor to it in this case I've added seven and a half percent adding that sort of um, growth factor to it and showcasing that within one particular table and so instead of going through this crazy process of getting all our budgets together and you know guesstimating this and that you know I've just effectively automatically created them by just utilizing historical information putting a factor on it and then putting it into this one table with this one formula and so that's how you can effectively utilize a whole range of different things you know and, and in particular cross join um, to be able to do that because if you think about it you could utilize cross training in different ways here in this case I've just done products well what if we wanted to um, um, have regional budgets or salesperson budgets or um, or customer budgets or something like that this is how this is how you can do it using exactly this technique with cross join right um, so so that's how you can in a real world situation utilize this function well okay so hopefully hopefully you got a lot, lot out of that one um, you know there's lots you can do with cross join. Um, this is just one particular example. Um, if you want to actually view the entire um, the entire session, went through lots of different budgeting techniques and lots of different functions, lots of different formula, lots of different visualization techniques, then certainly check out the entire workshop. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the, the, the description. If you want to have a play around with you know how how what 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 you can do with models like this, right? So we started simple and then we um, embedded some additional information, especially some um, budgeting information. Um, if you just pop onto the showcase page at Enterprise DNA, you can actually play around with it. You can actually have a look at um, how you can uh, you can have a look at the model, uh, the report, sorry, and uh, see all the different insights that you can extract uh, from that. Okay, so all the very best with this one. Hopefully, um, you can uh, utilize cross join or, or or think about how you could utilize it now. Um, you know, and, and sort of add it to your um, you know to your memory bank when you're actually developing um, developing models in Power BI. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us, and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.